If you guys have ever asked the question, who is the biggest e-bike brand in the US? Well, it's these guys, Rad Power Bikes. So for this review, I wanna talk about all the unique things you get with Rad Power Bikes. And the first thing I wanna talk about is the battery. As you would expect, this is a UL certified battery. It's 15 amp hour, it takes five hours to recharge, and it can take you up to 65 miles. Now here's the bonus stuff. The first one is, is the plate underneath here. They added that to waterproof all the connections, but the most unique thing about these batteries is that each cell is wrapped in what they call Hold on, I wrote it down so I didn't mess it up. A heat absorbing resin. I guess that wasn't too hard, I could have memorized that. So what that gives you is just a little bit more protection. If you plug it in, it's not gonna blow up and burn your house down. The second unique thing these guys have done is the thousand newton meters of torque that comes from the motor. Now this is a 750 watts and most e-bikes with that motor are hitting 75 newton meters of torque. I think that's why they call it a 750 watt motor. And so that gives you a pretty poppy start. But what's more impressive is the hill climbing ability. The other day I took this up a 20% grade and it just hauled butt up there. You could easily take this up something steeper and longer. I want to stop for a second and talk about the unique frame. It's the only bike company that I've seen that says they have an ergonomic frame. And as we all know, from our studies in elementary school. Ergonomic means it fits you just right. Well, the first thing about the frame is these two pieces here. These bars don't come up that high. It's pretty easy to mount. Oh yeah, making it look easy. Most bikes have a rear fork. They just connect to the seat post. This one goes all the way from the front to the back. And then the second thing is how far the front wheel is in front of the bike. I only see that feature on mountain bikes. Most commuter bikes, the wheels like right here. And so what that does, it extends the length of the bike, which gives you better stability. The handlebars are also unique looking. They've got this mini BMX style. The last thing that I thought was unique about the frame is the glossy paint job. I can tell the difference between paint jobs, and this is a good one. While I'm talking about the frame, I might as well tell you a few more things about it. And that is the bike comes in two sizes with a full range of 4'11 up to 6'4. It comes in two colors, it weighs 74 pounds and has a rider capacity of 320 pounds. Before I hop back on, I wanna talk about a few more features that are pretty unique to this bike. And the first is the throttle. A lot of bikes have a half twist throttle, but this one is more seamless than I've seen on a lot of other bikes. The second is the color LCD screen. Now on the control pad, there's a headlight button, but you don't need to worry about that because as the sun goes down, this will just automatically turn on and the tail light as well. The last thing I wanna show you is in the advanced settings, you just hold down the M button for a couple seconds. And I like this layout because there's no P menu. If you go to class, you have the option for class one, class two, and then class three at 25 and class three at 28. I feel like I just took you to school. Uh, that's just a fancy way of saying that you can change the top speed of the bike. Class one tops out of 20, class three tops out of 28. Now while I'm in the advanced settings, let me just run through it real quick. So you can change the units. When this is turned on, this will show you the remaining range. You can change the screen brightness. This has got a security feature that you can turn on and then a passcode, or it comes with two NFC cards, which then unlocks or locks your bike. The next thing I wanna talk about is my favorite feature with the Radster, and that is the very reactive torque sensor. If you guys have been following my channel for a while, you know that I don't like torque sensors for commuter bikes, and that's because you have to really crank down on the pedals to top the bike out. The more pressure you put on these pedals, the faster it goes. With the Radster, you don't have to do that. I barely have to increase the speed of my normal cadence to hit 27, 28 miles per hour. And even when I do, the bike's still doing most of the work. It's just a beautiful thing. Now, this next feature isn't so much unique because it's what I would expect when you pay $2,200 for a bike. That is the Suntour suspension, which is higher quality. You can lock it out and when fully open, it gives you 80 millimeters of travel, which if I really Really try to bang down on that, I'm unable to bottom it out. I actually really like the suspension. Some more good stuff. You got rad power bikes in orange, but then you got this orange ring. And then you have the same color of orange on the rear rack. Orange, orange, and orange. It just ties the bike in together and I don't know, makes it look good. It's the small things that count. Another small thing I liked is the guardrail you know, for the chain. So you're not gonna get grease on your leg or have to tuck your pant leg into your sock which I've done before. Well, I've come to the end of the trail, and so it's time to talk about the last thing that I thought that was unique with this bike. And that is these huge tires. Most commuter bikes are having a 26 to 27 inch. These bad boys are 29 inches. And there's three things that bigger tires are better for. The first is rolling over obstacles easier. The second thing is better stability. And the third is that it carries your momentum better. So I'll take it. I'll take the 29 inches. Well, as I'm stopped again, I wanna talk about it. Just a couple things that I didn't like. And the first is the derailleur. This is 
just a Shimano Altis, I would have liked to have seen something a little bit more higher end for what you're paying for. The second are the welding scars. They did their best to hide them. You can still see them, especially in the front where you can mount a basket. For 2,200 bucks, I would have liked to have seen a better weld job. Now I did like the Tektro hydraulic disc brakes. Those are what you should find in a bike in this price range. I thought the grips are nice. And then you have a higher end shifter. It's trigger going up and push to go down. And then you have a nicer flick bell. All right, so now a few bonus features. And one of these I mentioned earlier in the review, but this is a Salt Lake City, Utah based company. So customer service, getting parts if anything goes bad is gonna be pretty easy. You also have a two year warranty and they have a ton of accessories. There you go, guys. That is the Rad Steer Rad Power Bike. For 2,200 bucks, I feel like it's a pretty good deal. If you wanna check this bike out, I got the link in the description. And if you wanna see more of Rad Power Bikes, I've got one up on the screen. So go check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.